did set out to build a lead platinum. Uh, I think it was a lead silver to start with, and then it went to a gold, uh, and then it ended up as a platinum. Uh, most of the products that we have, the chairs, the tables, uh, come from steel case, uh, and they are either uh, made from recyclable materials and or can be fully recycled. The students uh, created the, the panel the way that you see it there, and it's got an AC and DC side. We've had it rolled outside many days where, where we'll uh, hook things up to it. We saved the money instead of buying books. We've augmented all of our online journals and databases. So every student has access to it uh, no matter where they're at. So they no longer have to come to a site. Uh, and that cuts down on people commuting to and from the, the, the campus, which was a, a concern of ours as well. You know, How do we help our own carbon footprint and, and how do we reduce that? Our biggest carbon footprint comes from students driving the campus. The other thing we wanted in here was a lot of natural light, and you'll see we, we have a lot of natural light throughout this whole building. Every, every learning space, with the exception of one, has some natural light coming into it. In fact, uh, I've, I've challenged our designers saying, okay, we want to do lead, but I want you to come up with strategies for low-cost lead. Faculty, believe it or not, use this. A lot of them teach classes online. And so they'll come in between their classes that they have on campus and check their online class. And the number one piece of equipment that students wanted was a comfortable chair. Called human simulators. They cost about eighty to ninety thousand uh, dollars, but they act just like a human being. And believe me, it is when they do these simulations, it's like a real life situation here. And people's energy level and the, the level of intensity is high. And I've actually got to observe one. Um, and it was an auto accident victim, and, and and they had the person die, and then it was sad. Everybody's crying, you know. And, and they had actors coming in, the, the children of the father that died, and, and they really recreate the, the scenario. And, I mean, there's computers in the, in the yeah, control room. Yeah. Well, this is pretty high tech. It, it takes you know four or five people to run you know a scenario. And so the cost to certify was over a little over hundred thousand, but we we actually got more dollars uh, by doing it. It's, it's easy to say, yeah, we built to the standards. Well, how do we know? You know, we can say we did because we got certified to show that we built to the standards. Uh, if we're going to build a new building from here on out, it needs to be net zero. I enjoyed the tour today because um, I have a client, uh, Pleasant Hill Recreation and Park District. They have a $28 million bond that they're going to be building three new big facilities. And the board was thinking that LEED was too expensive. And I, I like the fact that at Ohlone, they said that they didn't start out to go for LEED, platinum or gold or anything. They just wanted to build a healthy building. So 
it, it proves that you can start out with good intention and get even further than you thought. And just the sheer design and a lot of the meticulous thought that went into this canvas is incredible. I thought the tour was excellent. A lot of times we talk about um, the next generation and here you can actually see what a green campus looks like as it functions. I thought the tour was great. It really um, touched on all the different aspects of the green building. And